I previously did a video uh, a good few months back now showing you how to use a YubiKey to log in to your local Windows account on your Windows PC. Um, as it was popular, I thought I'd do an updated one, um, hopefully make it simpler and shorter as well, showing you uh, how to use a YubiKey to log in to your local Windows PC account. However, before we get started, let me confirm which YubiKeys this is compatible with. It's compatible with a YubiKey 5 FIPS series, a YubiKey FIPS 4 series, a YubiKey 5 series, and also a YubiKey 4 series. In this video, I'm using a YubiKey 5 FIPS series, and I have one YubiKey. However, if you have more than one YubiKey, um, you can always do a backup onto a YubiKey. So let's get started. Now, as you can see on the screen, I'm logged into the Yubico website. And what you first need to do is you need to have your YubiKey to hand. You need to have a spare USB slot to plug in your YubiKey into your computer. And also you need to have created a local user account on your PC. Please note that this does not work with Microsoft online user accounts. If you are using a Microsoft online user account to log into your PC, then there are other security methods such as two-factor authentication, Windows Hello, or Windows Biometrics that you can use to log into your PC. So let's get started. As you can see on screen at the moment, I have the Yubico website open, which is www.yubico.com. Now from this website, you need to select support. And then from the menu that appears, you need to select downloads under the getting started menu at the left hand side. This will then take you to the downloads page. Once you're in the downloads page, you need to select computer login tools and then under computer login tools, select explore options. This will then take you to the secure windows with strong authentication page. From here, you need to select either Download Yubico login for Windows 10 and 11 64-bit or download Yubico login for Windows 10 32-bit. As I am using Windows 11, I will be selecting download Yubico login for Windows 10 stroke 11 64-bit. So once you have clicked on that, you need to save it somewhere locally on your PC where you can access it. So just click save and it should download it. So once it has been downloaded, you can then close the website and then from the download location where you saved your Yubico login for Windows. In this case, it's version 2.1.1 hyphen Win64 you need to double click on it and then from the open file security warning window that appears, it should say, do you want to run this file? You need to select run. Then from the Yubico login for Windows setup window that appears, like what's on screen at the moment, you should see welcome to the Yubico login for Windows setup wizard. From this setup wizard, you need to select next and then under the end user license agreement you need to tick i accept the terms of the license agreement then from that click next then you will be prompted for the destination folder where the yubico login for windows setup will be installed i recommend leaving this as default so leave it as C 
program files, Ubicode login, or whatever location it's recommending that you save it to. So just click next. Then from the window that appears, it should say click install to begin the installation. Just click install. Then you should see the completed the Ubico login for Windows setup. You can then click finish. Then you should see a window appeared saying Ubico login for Windows setup. You must restart your system for the configuration changes made to Ubico login for Windows to take effect. Click yes to restart now or no if you plan to restart later. So here you can click yes. Now, once you're restarted and logged into your computer as normal, you need to click on the start button and then from the start menu that appears, select all apps, then scroll down under the section for why programs and you should see a, you should see a folder called Ubico. Click on this and it should bring a drop down list of three programs. It should say login administration guide, login configuration add uninstall Ubico login for Windows. You need to select login configuration then from the window that appears you need to select the express configuration option let the tool choose all options which is the highlighted option by default then click on next and then it will ask you to insert your yubikey so insert your yubikey into a free USB slot on your PC and wait for the screen to change. Here you will see that the screen has now changed and it's configuring user Tim primary. Now as I only have one user account on my PC this is why it's selected configuring user Tim primary and it's configuring it for the user that is already logged into this computer. So if you've just logged in, you will be configuring it for your username, which you've just logged into your PC with. Here underneath this, it will say YubiKey detected. The device details are serial number, and then it will give you the serial number, slot one configuration, not configured, slot two configuration, not configured. This confirms that it's a blank YubiKey which can be programmed. Below this, it should also say, this YubiKey is ready for programming. So just click on next. Then it will say programming device done. Please remove your YubiKey to continue. So remove your YubiKey from your USB slot. Then it will say, please insert the YubiKey to configure. Insert your YubiKey, then it will say, this YubiKey has an existing configuration in the target slot. This is because it has just been programmed to log in to Windows with a YubiKey. And then we can click on cancel. Do you really want to cancel should appear? Unfortunately, the window will not appear on my screen to show you, but you will have a question box saying, do you really want to cancel? Click yes. This has now programmed the YubiKey to log in to Windows with as an additional security option. As you will see, I'm now prompted with a Ubico login icon and it's asking me for a username and password. So in the username box, I will type in my username. In the password, I will type in my normal login password. And here it's now asking me to please insert your YubiKey and try again. So this is because it wouldn't let me in because I didn't have the YubiKey inserted into the USB slot. So I will insert the YubiKey into the USB slot 
click OK and then confirm my username on screen and type in my normal login password. Here you will now see that it said welcome and it's now logged me into my desktop as you can see here with my background set as my Mr Tim Tech YouTube channel name. So this confirms that there's now an additional option in addition to the username and password that you have to use the YubiKey to log in to Windows. I hope you found this short updated video useful. Don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and also the like button if you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.